Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Uh, cardio is really important. Uh, today we're gonna do a follow along cardio circuit. Normally when I do my cardio, I like to just hop on the bike and bike for 30 minutes while I watch YouTube or whatever. But sometimes for whatever reason, people don't like doing that, it hurts their butt too much, way too boring. They don't have a bike. They don't wanna go on the treadmill as another option, right? What we can do is we can do a bunch of uh, good for you types of exercises. So this will also be somewhat corrective for you. So I've got a timer set up over here. We're gonna get that going. We got six exercises. We're gonna go for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. 15 seconds is just enough to kind of switch exercises. 45 seconds is too long to really push too hard, which is kind of by design. This should be like a moderate intensity type thing, not a super high intensity interval training type of interval circuit workout. Uh, so we're just we're not we're gonna skip the warm up. We're gonna first round is gonna be the warm up. They're gonna try to make this super time efficient. Thirty minutes of exercise, no cool down necessary because everything is kind of a lower moderate intensity. So let's get set up. Got a ten second warning here. First exercise, we're gonna stand up, and we're just gonna go run in place. Just kind of exaggerate it. One, go. Now for this, you can pick up the speed if it's not too tiring, especially early on, I kind of like to because that ramps my heart rate up. This one is gonna be maybe a little less muscularly intense, but you still got a lot going on with my mat, so I'm all backward. <laughs> 15 more seconds here. Make sure you're exaggerating the arm movement because that'll keep your legs swinging, stepping. I have to do something about this bad. And rest. So 15 seconds. Next one is going to be a row. Now I'm going to choose to do a half kneeling row with a band. If you don't have that, you can just go hands and knees like this. Or you can go from a push up if that's too easy. Uh, for me, I'm going to go half kneeling. And I'm just gonna try to switch halfway through. For rowing technique, it's really important that we're leading with the shoulder blade backward. This doesn't have to be super slow. Doesn't have to be super fast either. I like to also involve the other arm and halfway. And same thing on this side. I like to involve the other arm because it teaches the torso to rotate, as you can kind of see here. You can be super robotic about it, or you can be really exaggerated about it like this. Um, or, you, I mean, you don't have to do it that way. I just, I always feel a lot better when I do it that way. And rest. Okay, next one is leg lowering. Now there's a couple variations of this one. If you do have a band and it's too tough, you can hold one leg with the band and lower the other one. If it's not like that, you just keep both legs up and we're going. And you just lower them like this. If this is too tough, biggest thing here is you're trying to keep your low back pressed into the ground. Okay, that's super important. If you feel your low back come up, kind of like this, then you need to make it easier. Good way to make it easier, you can put one foot on the ground too. You don't have the band to help you out. And then you just have to switch while we're going. I'm gonna go both legs though, like this. <sighs> Trying to breathe through the nose Three, two, as much as we can. One, stop. Breathing through the mouth is not restful. It's not very good for you. <laughs> uh, only, only appropriate in a really high intensity exercise. Next one's an alternating lunge. I'm gonna go forward lunge, that's kind of the advanced version. If you need an easier version, you can step back, like this. this is maybe the moderate version. We're gonna alternate legs. And if you need an even easier version, use the wall for balance, one foot forward, one foot backward, and just little mini steps like this, okay? I gotta catch up. I like to also exaggerate arm movement on this one because we're not holding any weights. That's kind of by design. We want you to stay nice and loose so that when you're done with all this, you feel actually recovered and you can try really hard on your workout 
the following day. Two, one, stop. This mat is slippery, eh? Maybe it's the carpet. Next one is the offset push-up or the push-up. So easy version from the knees. And you're just lowering as much as you can. Next step would be something from the feet, maybe half distance. I'm gonna go offset, so one hand's back, one hand's front, and I'm gonna alternate sides. Nice and slow. Big thing on this one, this one is super confusing for people. You wanna make sure that you're letting the shoulders twist and you're letting the torso side bend. When my left arm is away, my left side is longer. My right arm is away, my right side is longer. If at any point you need a break, just come down to your knees, take a little rest. We have a long work period. That's by design. And rest. All right, and sixth of the circuit is the short side plank genie twist. So you're gonna bend the knees up like this. And prop yourself up on your forearm and pick your butt up in the air. We go arms crossed and then arm reaches up. And this one we're just gonna switch when we're halfway. If you need an easier version, you can put your butt on the ground. Keep it on the ground while you do your twist. If you need a harder version, you can straighten your legs out like this. And halfway. Let's flip. Trying to keep tension on the bottom side. Obliques. You want those abs to hold you up. Keeps the shoulders free. And rest. Okay. That's one round. We got four more to go. Five in total. That'll bring us to 30 minutes. Or well, 29 minutes and 45 seconds. Standing up, running in place, 45 seconds, and go. If you get bored with this one, you can spin around if you want. You can throw in some skips. Or if this is way too easy, you can do the high knee variation. If my heart rate's not at least 120, I'll probably do harder variations. Since I've been demoing, I don't think it's very high, so I'm gonna try to catch up. Remember nasal breathing. Good. One down, next one is the row. Either the renegade row or the half kneeling row if you got a band to use. Three, two, one, go. And go. So what we're looking for on this is a nice straight line from ear through the shoulder, through the hip, all the way down to the knee at the bottom. Halfway. Switch sides if you're doing a single arm version like I am. Three, two, one, stop. Good. Two down. Next one on your back. Leg lowering. Remember, support that leg if you can't keep your low back down. Three, two, one, one and go. go. I like to put my hands down by my sides like this, palms down. Big thing to stabilize here is you want your belly button to stay sinking towards the ground. That'll help you keep your neck relaxed, not crunch so much to stabilize. That's not the goal of this one. This is more for these outer lower abs and less for this six pack here in the center. It's a little more athletic that way. 
Two. Right, three, two, one, and press. Cool. Next one's the lunge. Alternating forward, alternating backward if you need an easier variation. And then remember, just the split squat with the wall support, okay. limited range of motion here if you need more help. I like to do these rhythmically because then it takes some of the confusion out of the opposite arm and leg movements. It makes it way easier to just execute. You want to make sure that when you're stepping back on the lunge, you're not leaning backward to step up. That's not what we want here. Make sure you're pressing with the leg and rest. Okay, we're back to the push-up. Remember knees if you need an easier variation. I like the offset hands. Even from the knees, it's good to do that. Okay. Keeps the torso loose. Remember no rush on this. If you have glasses, you might want to take them off so they don't fall off and poke you in the eye socket. Now, for push-ups, I want to push this uh, tag of my shirt towards the ceiling at the top of each rep. That makes sure my arms get really long. My torso is in the right position. Helps me keep my ribs down, my abs on. My shoulders stable. And rest. All right. That's five. Last one is the short side plank genie twist. Three, two, one. one of my favorites. Go. Now these, it's about that oblique we talked about. It's really good for unstable shoulders though. If you're generally with shoulder instability, the torso, the ribs get really stiff, the pecs get overactive. And you just can't move and halfway switch. So what we want instead is to promote looseness up there and rotation. Rotation is kind of like the thing that's gonna unlock you the most. Three, two, one. And rest. All right, two down, three to go. It's hot in my room here but you should be sweating. Just maybe not as much as I am. <laughs> All right, running in place and go. I have this tendency to turn one way because I get in the zone and I just stop thinking about it. So maybe, uh, Halfway, we'll switch. Ready? And switch directions. This is good just for, I mean, keeping you not so bored, but also a little bit of ankle mobility. Looseness. Three, two, one, stop. Nice row is next. band or the other one, Renegade Row, again, from the push-up position. Three, two, one, go. And go. Now, when you do rows, I've always said you like to think about them like a lower body exercise, almost. It's like a lower body stabilization. If I'm doing the row with the hips, my hips are gonna get a workout, but Switch halfway. My arms don't do a whole lot of rowing that way. So what I need is I need to fix the hips and then turn at the shoulders. The shoulders stay loose. And that's why we do this free arm motion as well. It's a 
it keeps everything nice and loose. And good. Next one, on your back. Leg lowering. Back stays wow. down. Okay. When you exhale, let the belly button sink down toward the ground. And no rush on this one. You should also pull the toes towards you. It'll give you a nice calf stretch along with the hamstring stretch on the straight leg. Good for promoting hip mobility, but getting a good stretch in the calf prevents the calves from being overactive. Calves tend to like take over for lazy glutes. So if we keep them long, Three, or at least a normal two, length, one. and rest, then we can access the glutes a lot better. Okay, next one, standing up, alternating forward lunge or backward lunge Three. or Wall supported split squat. And go. Let's try to pick up the base. This is what, round three? Yeah. So we got this round and then two more. This is the, the Wednesday round, <laughs> the hump round. Now we were saying last time, if you're doing the forward lunge, make sure you're not leaning backward to stand up. That's not what we want. We wanna press through the leg, almost like a leg press. Oh, losing balance. Three, two, one, yeah. All right, next one's the offset push-up. Remember pressing, if maybe you're starting to get tired, and you need the break, you can regress halfway through. You don't have to do all your push-ups from the ground. You do need to make your arms long at the top, though. So if you can't, if you feel like you can't do that, then it would be better to bring the knees back down and work more on that. I promise you, it'll still burn. <laughs> Once you're at that point, it's really hard to recover. <laughs> short side plank, genie twist. I say short side plank because I intended for these to be done on the knees, but if you need that advanced version, you can go long side plank with the legs extended like I'm doing here. It's more about keeping the neck loose, keeping the shoulders kind of loose. So if you can't get that, Make it easier, it's okay. And halfway, switching. Three, two, one, stop. And good, three down, two to go. It's 18 minutes in, we got 12 to go. Doing good. All right, stand it up, run in place. Three, if you need a break, feel free to one, pause. Three. I would say just go really slowly though. It's better to just keep going if you can at the lowest level of intensity. Even if you just kept your feet down and you just swung your arms, that would be good. Or if your arms are the one that's tired, you put them on your hips like this. It kind of looks like I'm clogging. Though I suppose that's more my body structure than anything. Three, two, 
walk and rest. Back to the row. My mat, figuring it out. It's not moving so much on me. All right, one knee down. I think we were doing it this way. Yeah. Go. As far as which knee goes down, it's not the biggest deal doing something like this because your torso is twisting. So you, you're training both positions. If you wanted to switch now and flip your knees, that'd be fine. Halfway, switch arms. Big thing on the rows is just like the leg lower, make sure the belly button stays backward. You don't want to flare the ribs out like this. This is too proud. My back is too straight. It's too hard to get my abs that way. Long. Now I don't want to crunch and rest. I don't want to crunch like this to stabilize, but a little bit of a slouch is actually pretty normal. Next one on your back, leg lowering. Three. Oh, I'm feeling good now. Long. Okay. I don't want to keep going. Good thing we got another round. I hope you feel the same way. Remember, try to breathe through the nose. Breathing through the nose filters the air that you breathe, and it dilates the airways. So, if you have allergies, uh, it's more likely that your nose is gonna be clogged, but breathing through the nose will help prevent it from getting clogged as well. And then try not to over breathe. Try not to take too many breaths or too much breathing. It sounds counterintuitive, but if you're under breathing, you'll definitely be able to feel it. But if you're over breathing, you might not. All right, leg lowering. Next one is the lunge. Three, two, one, go. Go. that squeak that's sweat on the shoes <laughs> biggest way to make this one harder is just to go faster it's easy to take too much time at the top but if I don't straighten out all the way at the top it's much more intense if that's what you need. And rest. All right, push up next. Remember, it's okay to make this easier. I don't want you to finish the workout with a tight neck, right? It's okay sometimes, you know, I'm going for a heavy bench press. But that's not what we're doing today. Today is a recovery workout, an easy cardio workout. You shouldn't hit failure on any muscle group today. side plank, genie twist, or long Three, side plank, two, genie twist, one, go. and go. Three, two, 
long and rest. Four down, one to go. That's 24 minutes already. All right, we're standing up. Last go here. Three, if you're still feeling really good, one, go. you can pick up the pace. If you don't want it to be a recovery workout, you can really pick up the pace. But that defeats the purpose, I think. See how fast you can go while still breathing in and out through the nose. Idea. Try to keep the pace up sustainable, but you know, up a little bit. See what you have left and breathe through the nose all time. If you gotta breathe through the mouth, it's not recovery. Two, one, and switch. transition the more actual time you have to rest so I like to just get right in the position right away go. and go and I get to spend 10 seconds laying down have some recovery remember belly button sinks down on the exhales make sure you breathe into the nose keep your neck nice and relaxed okay a little bit of tilt up is okay you don't want to crank it up with your chin pointed straight vertical Nice little arch in the neck. Keeps the neck muscles relaxed. Especially important if you got shoulder problems or headaches. Three, two, one. Stand and good. Okay, standing up. Or lunge. Alternating lunge. There you go. Remember, we can keep the pace up. It's okay. You don't want to burn out, but you probably won't. <laughs> if you are burning out, go slow. That's fine. And remember, don't lean back when you come out of your lunge. Just gotta drive with the legs, not with the back. You should feel a lot of quad, a lot of glutes, and hopefully even some hamstring support you on the backs of the thighs. Especially if you got trouble with your knees. You can bend over a little bit more. You'll get a little more hamstring, a little more glute, and a little less knee. It feels pretty good. Three, two, one. one and rest. All right. Push up. Last one of these push ups. Sag. Belly stays up. Arms are long. Three, two, one, stop. And rest. 
Ooh. That one got me. <laughs> oh, quick on that. Alright. Last one, genie twist. Three, two, one. there nice cardio workout you can do this literally every day because of the intensity level keep the intensity level low now again cardio equipment works really great but if you want some variety throw in a circuit once in a while thanks for watching if you need more help with stuff i got a whole playlist on mobility circuits that you might like you follow along and do those give that a shot <laughs>